Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day 32. Last night I had a couple of skill points and I put them both into Demolitions Expert and that allowed me to craft a level 3 rocket launcher which is actually crafting right now in the workbench. I also extended the platform a little bit more over here and put in support there, there, and there for the roof. And we're going to continue extending the bars this morning. I just have to knock this row out here. And then we can put the rest of the bars in. Then uh, do some upgrading to the floor down below. And then we're out of here. We're going to do some exploring this morning with the gyrocopter. We've headed south to the desert city. Now we're going to head north, north of Joel's city, because Joel is just northeast of us. So we're going to head north of his city and see what's up there. Oh, damn it. Now, I want to just fly north and be on with our day, but... You know I gotta stop here first and check this stupid fucking vending machine. Something's gotta break this cycle here. And you know what? That's something that's crafting in the workbench right now. You're not gonna want to miss the beginning of the next episode. That's all I'll say. Let's get on with this, though. So, like I said, northeast is where we are headed. Because usually towns are connected, right? So there should be a main road in Joel's town leading north, I would hope. So we're going to see what's up there. Hey, the fog is starting to break. This is Joel's town right here. Hey, is that the Ostrich Hotel down there? Sure looks like it. Isn't there loot on the roof of the Ostrich Hotel? Let's go check. That's a big-ass roof. We can definitely take off from there. Trying to get a look at the loot. It's It should be in that cove in the front of the building. Yeah, there's loot. Let's uh, put her down right here. Look at this. Oh, perfect. What's up, bitches? Weren't expecting me this morning, were you? So long, Kenny. Go down, Mo. Gotta reload. Ah, screw it. What a beautiful way to start the morning. Level 6 double barrel. Could have some fun with that, or we can just sell it. I wouldn't use that during a horde fight. I would take it out with me during the day, though. Okay, let's go. I hope this is enough room. Get up! Oh, shit. Our tail hit. We're fine. We're fine. Just needed a little bounce off of the ground. All right. Um, I see a road up ahead. And, oh, uh, shit. This looks like New Jersey up here. I was hoping for the snow biome. Well, I don't know. We might have to just turn around and cut our losses. That looks like the top of a building over there. Yeah, and it looks like we got a cell tower. Maybe we got a little town over here. Let's check it out. Yep, here we go. Not the kind of town I was hoping for, but we'll make do. What the hell building is this up here? Is this the Hagashi Pharmaceutical Building? Oh, there's a shotgun messiah. That could be fun if it is. That'd be like an all-day raid. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's the Cracker Book building. Hey, that'll be fun, too. Let's put her down. Yeep. Boom. Oh, we didn't blow up. So far, so good. Ooh, what was that? A white. Sounded like a cop for a second. Dead. Let's close that door. Somebody stepped on a landmine. This is going to be a fun day. Oh. Stop being so short, lady. He's shooting right over her head. 
Uh, what is hitting me? Oh, there was a woman coming from behind. Listen, lady, you gotta warn me if you're gonna come up from behind. What's your safe word? Jeez, that did not start off the best. We're gonna have to do better than that. We're infected and we have a concussion. You know what, though? There is a painkiller in the gyro. Let's go grab it. There we go. And painkillers cure concussions, if you didn't know. Now we just need something to cure this infection. Oh, shit. Hey, bear. Listen, you just stay right there and uh, you enjoy your day and I'm gonna be in here. Fuck that thing. Oh, I broke some shit. Plastic polymers. Oh, that was probably just the uh, blinds on the window. Let's eat some food. I love lockdown. We can just eat anything. No one cares. Water. Empty can. Empty can. Scrap those empty cans. Drink this water. I'm going to throw the glass jar away, though. Uh, I'm not going to hang on to those. we got to be pretty selective with our loot in a POI this size. We don't need glass jars. i got uh, an uncountable amount of those back at home. There we go. Some weapon parts for the rifle and shotgun. I'll take those. Got some trash over here. Brass and lead. And that should be it for the lobby. Let's get to the elevator shaft. Get up this ladder. Second story. Wake up, Mo. Alright, that went a little better than the first floor. So as long as we continue to improve as we ascend, we'll be fine. Here we go, floor three. And we're waking up zombies already. Let's pop this door open. Hey, buddy. Choppity fucking chop. Oh, thanks for that loot bag. Woke up some more. I don't know where they're at. Whole bunch of brass. Get that scrapping. And let's read some books while we wait for these zombies to show up. Auto shotgun schematic. That's not bad. We have an auto shotgun, but now we might be able to craft a better one. That, in my opinion, is the best weapon in the game. You put a drum magazine on the auto shotgun and you have, like, fucking infinite rounds. Glass jars, I'm good. Water, I'll drink it. Oh, honey, baby, that'll clear up our little infection. Now we're looking good. Our luck is starting to turn around. Fucking empty can. Two more empty cans. I can't even scrap them yet because of all the brass we're scrapping. Little office here. Nothing in the trash. I don't trust the floor. I know the floor gives out in a couple places. I guess it's not this office. This room. Floor definitely gives out in this room here. Let's see if we can jump across. Okay. Oh, zombies at the door. You know what? Yeah, fuck you, zombies. Figure that one out. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, that block gave out. Ah, he's got to get through the boxes. Fuck off. Mining book, we already know. Hey, come on back up here. You were doing good. Bing. Not so good anymore. Come on, buddy. Your turn. I'll scrap that pistol for the pistol parts. Good on the murky water. Lead. I'll take that vitamin now. So we don't get infected again. Oh, shit. I didn't think I'd wake them up with that. What is the goddamn point of this silencer? Or is it my helmet light mod that's waking them up? I thought I was far enough back to where the helmet light mod wouldn't play a part in that. I don't know. 
Silencer sounds cool and it looks cool, but really doesn't do shit. If you want to be quiet, you got to use arrows. Oh, there we go. Extended magazine mod. Let's throw that on the sniper rifle. We're going to have to remove one of these. We might as well remove the silencer. It's not doing shit for us anyway. We'll put it on another weapon and sell it. Let's see how many rounds we can hold now. 18. That's not bad. Now let's just club this guy. Bang. No reason to waste ammo if we don't need to. That is the way to go, and we just woke up all the zombies in there. Shit. Um, I want to search this room over here first. Got some books. Here we go. Damage. Do 10% more damage with 44 guns. That's not just the Magnum. That is also the Desert Vulture. If we can get our hands on one of those. Armor-piercing rounds for the 7.62. 10% more damage against humans. That's not really going to help us out. They're at this door now. We might as well take care of them. This room can get a little crazy. The shipping room. Once we make any noise, we're going to wake up a whole bunch of construction zombies. See if we can at least get some sneak damage or not. Fucking Kenny. Ruining my plans as usual. Get out of here, cowboy. Yeah, I hear the construction zombies now. Beating on that door. Oh boy. Come on, Big Mama. Here we go. Oh, we gotta move. We gotta move. Son of a bitch. Come here, fuckers. Hey, extended magazine. Doing some work. Oh, you bastards. Oh, sounds like we're waking some zombies up. Not sure where. I thought we woke up all the zombies on this floor already. Let's check this vending machine. I like candy. Nice. I'm good on everything else. I think we'll just use that eye candy when we get to the main stash. Why not? Zombies sound like they're getting closer. I don't know where they could be. Because this is the room with the all the books. And this is where all the construction zombies came out of. So, I have no idea. Don't really care either. When they find us, then we'll deal with them. Let's see what we got here. Another toilet. With nothing in it. Oh, well, let's check these bookshelves. There's a batter up book. Power attacks to the legs, slow enemies. Okay. Keep that in mind. Hey, Desert Vulture. Have to check my pistol parts when we get home. See if we can craft one of those. Not that we really need one. Like I was saying earlier, we got an auto shotgun. That's like the only gun you need. During the day, anyway. For hordes, you definitely need a machine gun as well. But the Desert Vulture could be a fun gun to take around during the day. Plus, it'll use up some of the magnum ammo we've been hoarding. Craft fireman helmets and take 5% less damage when wearing them. That's pretty good. Might have to consider crafting one of those. They're great for when you're going out to the desert. Because they provide, I think it's like 15% hyperthermal resistance, which is pretty damn good. Keep you from overheating. A little bit of paper. Actually, I'll take it. We have some on us. Plus, there's a printing room in this building where we can get a whole bunch more paper. So we might as well leave with at least a full stack. This is the way to go, but we got to break in here first. Because there's some loot in here. Plus, a secret room beneath this room. There we go. It's not really a room. More of like a cove. 24 bucks. Now we're in the money. I uh, read all those things already. Alright, let's go. Gotta bust this out. That's good enough. Hey, another working vending machine. What do we got? Not much. Alright. Uh, let's grab that. 
Level 6 sledge turret. I'll have to think if there's a way we can use that with the base. I'm using one in the Farmer Glock series, and it's perfect. I can't wait till uh, we max out Robotics Inventor and we can use two of those things. But in terms of the prison, I don't know. I think, hey, you fucker. Is he hiding in the corner? Uh, in terms of the prison, I think the uh, the shooting junkie is much more effective than the sledge turret. Now, is that a full stack? It is. Let's dump this, and we're good on paper. No reason to collect more than a full stack. SMG turret. Schematic. That could be good. But uh, what gets me nervous about those things is they could set off a demolisher. Even though, so can the shooting junkie, and we're using two of those. So maybe I'll craft one of them anyway. That sound went off when we read that book. Oh, you know what it was? It was the Shotgun Messiah book. And we already maxed that series out. Once you max a series out, if you read a book in that series you've already read, it makes that noise again anyway for some reason. Ah, the printing room. Smell of ink in the air, give you a headache instantly. Get out of here, farmer. Go work the crops, not the presses. Where's the stripper at? There she is. <laughs> there's, there's always a stripper in this room for some reason. I tell you, I've been to a lot of printing facilities. Never saw a stripper there once. Maybe I'm going to the wrong facilities. That is what I do, though, for a day job. Part of what I do. I work for a marketing agency, and we provide branded materials for businesses. And part of that is printing. Now, we don't have our own equipment. We broker it out to wholesale print houses that sell to people like us. And then we put a markup on it and sell it to businesses. Which is a pretty good gig. You know, because you don't got to do any of the labor. Well, you, you're like the middleman. Right? You're just facilitating the order. But a problem with that is you're relying on other people to do their job well. And if they don't do their job well, then it reflects on you. So you don't really have full control. You know what I mean? You gotta just make sure you're working with good people that are doing their job right. Let's just use the club. Oh, took a hit there. What are you gonna do? Shit happens. Fuck off, Kenny. Dead. Alright, I know we missed something in here. What do we got? Exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. Sweet. Definitely gonna craft some of those, and then we're gonna have to break out the bow again. Or the crossbow. That'll be fun for tomorrow's horde night. Here we are. This is the final room before you get to the rooftop, which is where the main stash is. I don't think there's really anything to loot in this room. There's cement and cobblestone, but I'm not collecting that shit today. We got enough of that stuff. Gotta duck under there. Jump across here. And jump across here. And we are good to go. Let's get the gun out. We're fully loaded. Hey, ammo pile. Bam. All right, I know there are birds up here, and zombies. There's a bird. And now everyone's awake. Oh, shit. Fuck off. Come on, Jesus. Oh, shit, let's get out of here. Get behind this door. Oh, damn it. Bird followed us in. That did not go well. Dead. I know there are more. Maybe they just got stuck on something. Oh shit, here we go. Fucking hell, drop. Get out of here. He's dead. We could just leave the rest of these assholes behind. Actually, we can't. We gotta come back down this way. You know, I wasn't even thinking. Uh, I, didn't even, I don't remember if any of those uh, vending machines had oh shit drop candies in them. If they did, we could have bought one and just jumped off the roof when we were done here. I wasn't even thinking about that. But we're done. Let's cruise up here. 
Grab the main stash. Just about hour 17. Well, we could cruise around this town and see if there's anything else we can uh, loot quickly. You know, uh, POI we're familiar with that maybe we can just grab the, the main stash out of. We'll see. Oh, now I just pissed it off. Now we got a pissed off bear down there. That'll be fun. I always like to set myself up with these challenges. Here, we can just bust this door open and take the stairs all the way down. Instead of having to go all the way down through the building, that would take fucking forever. Just gotta be careful because some of the stairs are out. Oh shit, like right there. I almost fell. I'm not very good at taking my own advice, if you've noticed. 47 bucks, it all adds up. Some zombies in here, or what? They might be outside. Ah, whatever, I'm not concerned about the zombies, I'm concerned about that bear. Oh, there it is. Yeah, stay stuck. Come on! There we go. Oh, hey, zombies. Just in time. You dead, Big Mama, or are you just enjoying the ride? She was just enjoying the ride. I don't blame her. You gotta do that in life sometimes. You know? Just go with the flow. Even if the flow is going down a flight of steps. Whoops. Okay, I, I know what I'm doing. I got this. Everything's under control. Holy shit. Don't drink and fly, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, this stupid fucking tree. Gotta get around this tree. Oh, this is such bullshit. Uh, let's knock the tree down. Damn it! Damn it! Shit! God, so fucking stupid. Oh, I better edit this part out so I don't look like a fucking moron. There we go! Imagine if trees could kill you and I just died right there. That would be the perfect ending to this series. To any series, really. Holy shit. Alright, you know what? I was trying to avoid taking all the inventory back out of the gyro to pick it up, but I guess that's what we're gonna have to fucking do. We should probably just get the hell out of this shithole. Fucking New Jersey. What, what did I expect coming here? I can't see anything anyway with all this fog. Let's just, uh, get control of the gyrocopter first. And let's just go to Joel's town. We're gonna pass by there on the way home anyway. It's in the green grass biome, so all this fog will clear up. And maybe there's a POI there that we can pull a quick smash and grab on before we head home. Oh, this is gonna be so dumb. This is going right up there with some of the dumbest shit I've ever done. But you know what? If we can pull it off, it'll be good. Crash land right in there with the loot. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> what just blew up? Did my gyrocopter just blow up? Oh my god, we're so fucked. This is not how I envision this. Get up here. Hey, there's the gyro. It didn't blow up. Can I access it? Why can't I access it? Oh. I just saw it. There. Okay. It didn't blow up. Holy shit. Let me pick it up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're good. That actually worked out perfectly, almost.
Man, this is just a bunch of bullshit. Here's a working stiff box. Nail gun, which I can't fit. Here, take the animal fat. I don't want it. All right, we have to knock all this shit out of the way. Because I got to put the gyro back down. And then to get out of here, we're just going to ride the gyro right off the ledge here. Which we're going to have to knock the railing out. Oh yeah, this is going to work perfectly. Sixteen bucks. I tell you, this is the best smashing grab I've ever done. That was hilarious. That explosion scared the shit out of me. I definitely thought it was the gyro that blew up. It must have just been a gas barrel. For a moment there, I was like, fuck, we're walking home. And now we just let the wind carry us home. That was fucking awesome. All right, well, hour 21 just about. I'm satisfied with the amount of loot we got. Decent day. The exploring didn't work out so well. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, I was really looking for the snow biome. We found New Jersey instead. There were some other decent POIs in that town, though. We may have to go back. For now, though, let's just get home and call it a day. Here we go. Slowly, slowly. Perfect. All right, let me grab all the shit out of here, or as much as I can carry. Go put it away. Get the rest of the stuff, pick up the gyro, we'll put all this shit away and into storage. Actually, we gotta figure out what we wanna sell. Because tomorrow is Horde Night, which means it's also Trader Day. So we gotta go to the Trader and sell some shit. All three Traders, because look at all this stuff, man. This whole fucking crate is filled. Plus, I'm going to have more stuff to sell as well. So, we'll go see, uh, what's his name here in this town? Wrecked, then Joel, then Trader Jen, and that'll probably be it, because Trader Rick's a little bit too far away. We'll squeeze in some looting, we'll come back here and fight our 11th horde here at the prison. So, uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Like I said, I'm going to go through all this loot, and then maybe get some work done down in the mine. And we'll pick things up on the morning of day 32. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown and more Farmer Glock, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.